Hi there, today I'd like to take a look at this cup. Um, these ones are a little bit difficult to um, suck out of. Basically, it is a cup like this, and there, there are threads on the outside. So um, what I realize now is that if you have a chance to buy a cup that can later be just used as a cup, um, it, it would be great. But since like this has threads on the outside, then this wouldn't be very comfortable to continue to use just as a standalone cup. You, you know what I mean? Um, there are other ones where you can, they have a fittings over it, but then later on you can just toss the fittings and then just keep using the, the cup. Um, so those ones are a little bit nicer, but um, this one has the threads on the outside and then it has like these, you know, flat surfaces and then it looks like this you screw that on and then it has this silicone piece over here and you just um, see how it's like that so you just pop this in there just shove it in so it's really easy to clean um, other than that there's you know all these little holes in there so you don't want that to get all you know filled with mold and stuff because then it'd be a pain to you know scrub out every single one of those holes but um, shove this in and then how it works is when they suck on it then the fluid actually will move out here and, and over there so it's it's kind of hard to get but it does mean that it you know it kind of helps prevent spills and stuff like that um, so there is that. This wasn't our most favorite design just because it is kind of hard for them to suck um, suck that out and they only get little bits at a time. So um, for this one I'd say I'd say it's an okay product. It wasn't our favorite though but I think it was because um, we used this type I don't remember what it's called now but this type is kind of more of a pain to clean because there's all these other pieces this one's old uh, so there's all these pieces right once again this one can't really be used as a standalone cup but um let's see how does this, this work you shove this piece in here then you put this one in here and then you shove this one on here like that so then what happens is when you just push this down it opens up the seal it opens up the seal on the bottom and then fluid can come out so if if I just tipped it over like this then um, not a lot of fluid would come out but if I push this down then fluid would come out on its own so it's not that they have to use suction to suck the juice out or water out they just they just have to push this down with their lips and then it kind of flows and it's a it's a nice gentle flow so this one was actually our favorite for a long time this one was not spill proof either because you know it would flow and then when they stop then there would be a little bit of accumulation of fluid in there which wasn't a big deal unless if you went like this and then that would drip out but otherwise if you just went like this then it wouldn't um, spill and the same thing with this one if you just go like that then it's not going to spill but if there's a little bit of accumulation of fluid um, right there at the tip then it might spill a little bit but I think for spilling this one does uh, work better than this one but this one's also a lot harder to suck out of um, right now my uh, daughter what she's doing <laughs> what her favorite thing is right now is I just leave this completely off and um, we put a straw in there and then she just drinks out of the straw and so just the fact that you know it has a smaller um, surface it kind of catches if you know it's moving around and stuff and then um, and then she just drinks out of the straw I don't know she, she that's her thing right now but it's very comfortable it's very nice it's very well made and it's BPA free it's made in China recyclable um, all that so there you go if there are any questions go ahead and leave them for me in the comments below otherwise thanks for watching